Rather than having each thread read three neighboring elements, average their value, and write a single output result, we can have each thread read a single input result and add one-third of its element's value to the three neighboring elements. So each of these writes would really be a, an increment operation. You can imagine the same thing on our 2D image blurring example, where each thread takes one input element, or pixel, and writes a fraction of its value to the neighboring pixels. So when each parallel task needs to write its result in a different place, or in multiple places, we call this scatter, because the threads are scattering the results over memory. You can see already a problem that we're going to have with scatter. You've got several threads attempting to write to the same place at more or less the same time. This is something we'll have to talk about later. Let's have a quick quiz on this. Suppose you have a list of basketball players. So you've got a bunch of records, and each one has the name of the player and the height of the player, and uh, the rank and the height, okay? So in the, in the league or in the, on the team, whether this is the first tallest, the second tallest, the third tallest, the last tallest, or so on. Okay, so you've got their rank and height. And say that your goal now is to write each player's record into its location in a sorted list. So if we implement this in CUDA by having each thread read a record and look at the rank and use that rank to determine where to write into the array, is this a map operation or a gather operation or a scatter operation?